is up you guys it's Megan and today I'm bringing you guys a very very special sponsored by EA video about the Sims create a pet hey guys before we get into today's video don't forget to check out the proper live video where we prank Zach's brother Tyson into thinking we bought him a dream car you guys don't want to miss it check it out in the link in the description now as some of you guys know, I was invited out to EA. They flew me out, um, paid for my hotel so that I could play the newest expansion pack coming to The Sims 4, which is The Sims 4 Pets or Cats and Dogs, more specifically. I call it Pets because that's what it was in Sims 3. It's The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So guys, this is not my footage. Amanda Drake actually sent me this footage because the footage I got from Sims Camp corrupted or something happened to it, but I no longer have it. So I am going to be kind of walking through this little uh, creed of Sim with you guys um, and trying to voice over the best I can. Amanda Drake, the lovely Sims community manager, is making Peach in this little walkthrough and then later she's going to make a cat. So I, like, she she sent this to me. This is it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amanda Drake. So, um, Peach here what you guys can do is you can change all sorts of swatches on her skin or her fur or hair peach has hair she's a capapoo um and customize this dog as much as you want you can also mix breeds in the creative sim so if i want to mix a poodle with a king charles cavalier which is actually what peach is i'm allowed to do that there's all sorts of coats as you guys can see um amanda chooses the curly coat which is a good choice because that is exactly how peach has her fur i am in love with this also the the it's like this footage is sped up in case there is any confusion about that, um, I the, she sent me 30 minutes of footage, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but I wanted to make sure you guys could see it all. And now we are moving on to the clothing, which is adorable. And I love all the sit styles you can put your pet in. This helps with the painting and the dressing and making sure that they can see everything. I like how there's like little areas cut out like so that they can go potty. That, that was very thoughtful on the Sims design team. Overall, I do love the Sims create a pet. Um, feature. I think it is so creative and so fun. Oh, also I'm supposed to let you guys know this is not the final software. As you guys can see, those swatches are blank right there um, until you click on them. Yeah, that's not going to be like that in the real, the, like the actual final playthrough of the game. So this is not the final software version of the game. Um, it's just so you guys can get a taste because I'm excited for this and I know I'm going to be making a few series on this. I think this bear onesie is my favorite. It's adorable. Oh no, <laughs> I'm dying the entire time um, that I was doing the create a pet. I was dying. Everything was so cute. Everything was adorable. And I love all the outfits you can put on the pets. Um, there's endless, endless possibilities. So, um, I'm not really sure what to say. We're moving on. Okay, so we're moving on to the head shape. You can change the dog's head shape. So, you can make it look like a boxer, um, a chow chow, a bulldog, or even a golden retriever. Whatever suits you. You can also change the ear types. And what I like about the Sims for pets is, or pets, cats and dogs, with the cats and the dogs, which are both pets, you can slide their ears, look at this, slide their head to make them look more like your dog. There is so much customization with this. And change their little snout, um, and change like kind of the broad of their neck, like how wide their shoulders are apart. Ooh, it's so cute. It's so accurate. I love it. Um, ooh, and you can make the ears thin or wide. Exciting. Yay. Okay. This dog is so cute, I cannot stand it. And she's about to show us all the customization that you can do with the eyeballs, I'm pretty sure. The eyeball customization is adorable. You can make one eye green, one eye blue, you can do two different eye colors. Um, you can make them go crossword in or anything like that. Um, you can give them, ooh, see, like ice blue eyes, like some Australian Shepherd puppies. Because I can actually gonna get an Australian Shepherd puppy, a toy miniature, or not miniature, a toy Australian Shepherd puppy. We're gonna have her in like a week. And um, so it's going to be so exciting. Um, and I can't wait to do a Let's Play series on like our life or add them into the legacy series because you're for sure guys, that's gonna happen. We're adding in our pets. Um, I can't talk too much about the gameplay um, of the um, Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. I actually can't talk about it at all. So that's why I'm not talking about any of the gameplay. Um, I can only talk about create a, create a pet. Um, so this is the customization slider. You can paint, um, you can do it, um, like, there's a little icon right over there where it lets you pick this as a mirror so you can draw patterns on your dog. I think she's about to show that off with, like, the pink tool. Or you can turn off the mirror and just do one side, um, to be very unique and different. 
So she's gonna show us how the mirror effect works right here. So you can put little matching markings all down your dog. And what is fun is you can stamp your dog with the fun patterns. Like there's like a little cactus one, there's a little poop emoji, um, jellyfish. Oh, see, you could totally change your dog's color. Like you can have a completely pink dog, which is actually what I made in my footage. I'm still hoping to recover some of the footage from Sims Camp for the, my gameplay. I'm still working on getting it back, so we're gonna have to hope. Um, so there's a stamp tool. You can do the cheetah prints, and this is where I said that the sitting in different positions comes in very much handy, is um, so you can get on the stomach. I saw Steffo Sim, she made a pretty funny dog. Um, she might include it in her gameplay, so I'm not gonna like give away what it was, but you guys should have, head over to her channel and check out the dog she made because I thought it was hilarious. So look, there's a little poop emoji you can put on your animal or the little freezer bunny. Of course they had to add that in, that's so cute. Oh, and you can also change the undercolor of the paws on your dog, like just the patches of the paws, um, not the actual fur, which I think is so cute. So you can change the size of the stamps, um, the opacity, you can rotate them around. Um, so if you just want a jellyfish dog, you can do all sorts of things with that. So, and oh yeah, and then these are stencils. So you can stencil your dog. As you can see, she selected a skeleton stencil, which is fun. Uh, a lot of people had fun with this and you can put a little skeleton stencil on your dog. So we've covered a lot of the create a pet um, and the different breeds and mixes. Next, we are gonna look at a cat, but it's pretty much the gist like of the same thing, the dressing, the coloring, all that. So I want to let you guys enjoy that. And if you stay tuned to the very end, there is a little fun snippet of um, <laughs> the animal voices, which is so cute. Oh, and or also the traits. Now I can't really see the traits right here, but there's, um, should be a drop-down menu and you guys can ask all sorts of questions, like a drop-down menu later in this like little speed through. And I want you guys to ask questions about the Sims 4 created Sim uh, cats and dogs, not the gameplay, but if you ask questions about the cats and dogs um, expansion for the creative pet only, I can answer those questions down below. So I'm gonna let you guys watch the video. Um, maybe you can listen to some music with it or whatever your heart desires. Um, I had so much fun at Sims Camp. Thank you again, EA, for flying me out um, and giving me the chance to get a hands-on gameplay with this because it got me so pumped to share this with you guys. So thank you so much. Please keep in mind, this is not the final version of the software. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.